Hi there Lexus owners, today in your 2018 Lexus RX 350 we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Stealth Hitch's full towing and rack receiver package. That's right, it looks completely factory stock because our attachment is hidden behind our bumper here and the actual rack and drawbar are removable so you can go to a completely factory look and when you're ready to tow you can grab your favorite accessories and whichever component you need to attach to whether you need your rack receiver here for loading up bike racks or cargo carriers or maybe you're wanting to get some work done or maybe bring a camper or jet ski with you you can slide in the drawbar either way each of these slide in exactly the same you can see they've got the same attachment there we're gonna go ahead and just slide the drawbar in so we can see that here it simply just pushes right up into the bottom so we're just, we'll just line it up with the hole down here, push it into place until it clicks in, just like that. And then there is a lock mechanism on the side. We always wanna make sure that before we hook anything to this, same thing with our rack receiver here, before using it and putting it into service, we're gonna push in on that lock tab to make sure it's locked into place so that way we can't, our components here can't go anywhere. Our draw bar here is going to provide us with a two inch ball and it's going to be great for, again, if you have a maybe a jet ski or a small pop-up camper or something like that, it's going to be great for it to be able to bring along with you. Being able to swap out to the rack receiver is going to be great for utilizing all those accessories that you may have around whether that's bike racks or cargo carriers. Both of those are going to work out very well in this. The receiver here is a two inch by two inch receiver, so it's gonna work with just about every accessory out there. And it, both the rack receiver and the draw bar have a 350 pound tongue weight, which again is gonna be enough for those cargo carriers and bike racks. You could have a four bike rack fully loaded up with that. The cargo carrier, you will be able to get a lot of gear out of your vehicle, but the largest ones here at E-Trailer are gonna have a higher rating than that, so you won't be able to load them up all the way to the max, but you should definitely be able to get some more room for passengers and more gear inside the vehicle. The rack receiver here is not rated for towing. This is only for accessories, so it only has a 350 pound tongue weight rating. Our draw bar, though, is rated for towing and has a 3,500 pound gross towing capacity, and that's how much that it can pull behind it. And with that, that's going to be good for, like we discussed, those uh, pop-up campers and jet skis, maybe a small boat. All those things are going to work out really well, as long as you got a 2-inch coupler to hook onto the ball here. Now, there are other balls available here at E-Trailer, so if you needed to swap this out for a different size, you could do so. You do just want to keep in mind that that 3,500-pound towing capacity is going to stay the same. Uh, when you go to put a different ball in here. The only time that it's gonna change is if you put a ball in that has a lower weight rating than what this is here. So let's say you put in a ball that only has a 2,000 pound capacity, that's gonna make sure that you, that's gonna mean that you only have a maximum of 2,000 pounds gross towing capacity. Now I've got some measurements for you. Our draw bar here from the ground to the top of the ball is about 18 inches. And the center of the ball to the edge of our bumper here is about four inches and the furthest point on our draw bars here at right at about five and three quarters of an inch. When towing you also need to hook up your safety chains and in our full tow package kit here you will get safety chain loops on your hitch as well. They are going to be located pretty far underneath and they have a kind of a small opening. So here's our smaller chain and we can see that it, that hooks in there with no problem. Our larger chain here, when we go to use it, it is, does not look like it's going to work out so well. It looks like it will actually fit. You got to have it at a very specific angle, but it looks like some of those larger chains are going to be compatible as well. Additionally, you may have saw me remove the wiring. The dust boot works out great to attach it to one of those safety chain loops when you're not using it. But when you are using it, this hitch also comes with a four pole flat trailer connector and it's custom fit for your vehicle. So it's a simple plug and play option. So it's really easy to get a full tow package set up on your Lexus RX here with this stealth hitch full towing package. Your wiring's gonna give you all of your necessary lighting signals, which includes your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps keeping you DOT compliant in all states. 
We're now going to head underneath here so we can show you how the mechanism works under here. Here you can see this is the dust boot for the lock mechanism. So we're going to go ahead and pull that off of there. And there's our lock. You'll receive two keys with your kit to unlock it. So we're simply just going to take one of those there and unlock it. Once we have it unlocked, there is a twist handle on the opposite side. We're just going to give that a twist here. And you can see as we twisted it, it just drops out of there. It also locks itself in that released position. And that's great because now that we've got it this, this removed, installing something is as easy as just pushing it straight up. And then it clicks itself right back into that position that holds it into place. We always want to make sure we push our lock tab back in before we go to use this into service. We're going to go ahead and swap this out for our rack receiver so you can see that one as well. So we're just going to twist this again until that drops out of there. I'll grab the rack receiver. That slides up into place and we'll lock it in before we go to attach any accessories to that. With our rack receiver, this is only for accessories. You'll secure your accessories using a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. One doesn't come included with the hitch, but we've got a lot available here at e-trailer. And I would recommend getting a locking one so that way nothing's gonna walk away from your hitch while it's on here. Since the rack receiver's here locks is locked on completely to your vehicle, you should lock on your accessories as well to keep yourself safe. It is a two inch by two inch receiver. We talked about how great that's gonna be for all your accessories, but we're gonna give you some additional measurements here so we can see how those accessories are gonna work in this hitch and your vehicle here. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it's right at about two inches. That's important when determining if your accessories can be placed inside the receiver without contacting the bumper, and if they can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And from the ground to the top inside of the receiver tube, it's right at about 15 and a half inches. And this is important when determining if you need a drop, a rise, or a raise shank on your accessories. Now that we've gone over some of the features, why don't you follow along with us and we'll show you how to get it installed. We'll begin our installation at the back of our vehicle underneath on the passenger side. Your tow hook is going to be located here on the frame rail and there'll be two bolts that hold it in. We'll use a 17 millimeter socket to remove these two bolts. Once we've got those removed, we're going to set our tow hook aside. We will be reinstalling it but we will not be reusing the factory hardware. Just forward of where our tow hook was, you'll find a rubber grommet. We're just gonna pop that out with our screwdriver. And then just in front of that, this one's a plastic grommet and these ones thread out of here. So we'll use our flat screwdriver for those as well. And then if we hop over to the other side of the frame rail, we're gonna have very similar plugs in here. So we're just gonna get all of these removed. There's a total of five over here on the driver's side. We now want to just make sure that our weld nuts are cleaned out. You're going to have three weld nuts on each side. We're going to use a little bit of rust penetrant, spray it up into those holes, and then we'll take a bristled brush to get out any dirt, debris, corrosion, or anything else in there that might hinder getting our hardware into place nice and easily. We'll do this on the other side of the vehicle as well. If you need a small bristled brush like this, we sell them here at eTrailer. Now we've got our weld nuts cleaned out. Before we lift the hitch up, you're also gonna have some goo kind of here at the back. That can really make it difficult to get your hitch into position because of all this in the way. So we're just gonna take a razor knife and we're just gonna trim some of this off of here, right here. And that will allow us to more easily get our hitch into position. Once we get this side all cleaned up, we'll clean up the other side the same way. Because that really does make a big difference in how easy it is to get that, get your hardware installed. We'll now want to prepare our hardware. It'll be easier if you got your hardware prepared when you go to lift your hitch up. There's a total of six bolts. We're going to take each of those bolts and place a lock washer on it, followed by a flat washer. So we'll have three like this prepared for each side. We can then grab our hitch and we're going to put it into position. Want to make sure you can read the stealth hitch sticker. We'll slide it up just like this. You will have to push your heat shield a bit out of the way there in order to get it to go up. 
And once we get it up in there, we'll line up the holes on our hitch with the weld nuts at the bottom of the frame, and we're gonna get those just threaded right in. We'll get one started on each side, and that will allow the hitch to hold itself up, making it easier to install the rest of our hardware. On your passenger side, when installing this one, you wanna make sure you take your tow hook. We're gonna push that up as well. Can I kinda help? If you push up on it, and then you can just get one bolt started in there. Then we can kind of twist that around and get our other bolt started in there. We can now go back and tighten our hardware with a 19 millimeter socket. And then we can torque our hardware to the specifications outlined in our instructions. Now that we've got all of our hardware torqued down, we can put our center mechanism in place. We can take our safety chain loops. We want to make sure that the attachment for the safety chain loop is going to be towards the front of the vehicle. So it's going to slide on like this. And we can then slide this back up into position now. And it is pretty tight. That's pretty normal for it to be tight. There we go. We'll then twist our safety chain loop around. And then we're going to insert the longer bolts that come in our kit. And these are the longer bolts. They're only about a quarter inch longer, maybe a half inch. They're not very much longer than the ones just took out, but we need that extra length. So we're gonna go through our safety chain loop and then get it through our mechanism here. There we go. We'll then take the other bolt and we're gonna do the same thing in the other hole here. Get these lined up. And on the other side, it's much easier to get your safety chain attachment hooked on. And you also notice the bolts that we're using are the same diameter as the ones we took out. Because in your conversion kit, you're gonna get two different safety chain loops and bolt sizes. You're also gonna get half inch ones. Those are the half inches for the, the, one, you know, the holes that they match up with. So that's why we're using the beefier looking ones here with the bigger bolts. So we'll just slide that one on there then. And then we're gonna use the new nylon locking nuts that come in our kit to secure it on the other side. Now that we've got those on there, we can torque them down. I just wanna show you, these are the old bolts. This is the ones that come in the rack receiver box. And the longer ones are the ones that come in the other box. So you are gonna have some extra hardware and you can just toss that to the side. We'll then use a 15 16 socket and wrench to tighten these down. We'll then torque our hardware to the specifications outlined in our instructions. So now that we've got our hitch fully installed, what is left now is to prepare our draw bar. The ball will have to install onto the bar and we'll get our wiring installed. We'll go ahead and get the draw bar prepared real quick so we can get that clicked in there and show you what that's gonna look like. To prepare our draw bar, we're gonna take the mechanism here where it clicks in, that's our draw bar. We're gonna take the ball that comes in our kit, that's gonna slide down right into there like that. We'll then follow that up with a lock washer and the nut on bottom. I'm going to get those tightened down. And then we're over here at our vise because we're gonna need to hold this all together, hold our ball and everything while we go to tighten this down. And it's a pretty high torque spec. I also like to take the ball and it's not necessary, but I like to line up the horizontal flat spots here with the draw bar. I think it just looks nicer that way. We'll then open up our vise 
we're going to clamp the ball inside of it and then we're going to use a one and a half inch socket to torque our ball to the specifications outlined in our instructions. I'm doing it like this so I can keep pressure on this to keep it so that way that ball's always in line. Now that we've got it torqued down, we can just slide that out of there and it's nice and straight. And this is now ready to insert into our rack whenever we're ready. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that inserted so we can see what it looks like. And that just clicks into place there. And of course, we always wanna make sure we press that lock mechanism in to make sure that that's not gonna come out of there. So we've got the hitch fully prepared now for towing. Next, we'll need to get our wiring set up. So that way when we are pulling a trailer, we've got all those necessary lighting signals. Our vehicle here has a factory tow package and the wiring that comes with it plugs directly in. So it's an extremely easy stealth hitch to install to get your whole Lexus ready for towing for just about anything you wanna put it through. And the wiring's super easy because there's our connector right there. We're on the driver's side at the very back corner, just above our exhaust pipe, you can see the white cap right there. We're gonna press in on the release tab and then remove the cap. Here's the release tab there that I was pressing on. We can just set that aside, we won't need it. And then we'll grab the wire harness that comes with our kit. This is gonna have a custom fit connector that's gonna plug directly in to that factory connector there. So we'll just simply give it a click. That's gonna put it into place. And then we can take our wiring here and we can bring it over to the center of our hitch where we can secure it with the included zip ties. We can now install the dust cap. The exposed pin there is gonna be on the same side as the little hoop there. So we're just gonna slide the hoop over the end And this will just go over to protect it from corrosion. You will get some dielectric grease included with it. We're not gonna be putting it on here today for demonstration purposes, but you'll wanna squirt that up inside of here to help protect it against rust and corrosion. And then when you're not using your wiring, you can simply wrap it around here and we can secure it to the safety chain loop on our hitch. At that point, it's just cleaning up any of our wiring. You can use some more of the zip ties included with the kit if you wanted to, to further secure the wiring and snip off any excesses that you have there. We've now gone ahead and plugged in a tester because really at this point our installation is complete, but we wanna make sure everything's working properly. You could plug into your trailer. However, I highly recommend getting a tester like you see here. You can get this here at e-trailer and this way you can ensure your vehicle's working properly because if you have any faults on your trailer, it could give you a false reading whether or not your vehicle's working properly. So now we've got it plugged in, we wanna make sure that we've got our left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. And we can see all of our signals are working properly back there. So at this point, we're ready to load up our favorite accessories, hook up to our trailer, whatever we wanna do, and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Stealth Hitch's full rack receiver and tow package on our 2018 Lexus RX 350.